Hey, it's me, Bobby Daddy 3 and I'm back with another short art prediction video. Uh, sorry if I'm not using any actual footage this time. Try to avoid some copyrights. Thank you, Nintendo, for that. But anyways, this is just three predictions that I just came up, and hopefully you find this interesting. My first art prediction is that the Nintendo Switch will sell 60 million by March of 2018. Now, for this reason is because Nintendo said that they are increasing production of Nintendo Switch consoles, estimate about 20 million, and the reason why 16 million is because the Nintendo Wii U sold about somewhere between 14 million and 15 million, so there's a possibility that the Nintendo Switch could already surpass the lifetime sales of the Nintendo Wii U. I think there's a 70% chance of Nintendo selling 60 million Nintendo Switch consoles by March of 2018. I mean, just look at the game that's coming out this year, the Super Mario Odyssey and Splatoon 2, which you know that's going to move consoles. There's Fire Emblem Warriors and Xenoblade 2, which I won't say give it a huge boost of console sales, but it would definitely keep the um, sales pretty steady overall. Arms may be a surprise hit. There's a lot of hype behind it. And of course, let's not forget the home console and such um, handheld hybrid concept that is pretty popular in Japan. You know, Japan like the handheld gaming. And I think that is definitely going to help Nintendo have a great year in Nintendo Switch sales. Now, the only thing I can see them not reaching that goal is competition. Uh, Sony does have a lot of games coming out. There's God of War, Uncharted, and who knows what else they're going to announce uh, in this year's E3. So they're definitely someone to keep an eye on. Uh, Microsoft, on the other hand, uh, they're a bit of a mystery. We know some games that are scheduled to come out, but the uh, main thing is that the Xbox Scorpio, uh, I'm not sure if that's going to do anything in terms of stopping Switch sales. I mean, there is a market of people who wants the uh, most powerful console out there, which, you know, the Nintendo Switch is still the weakest console compared to the current PlayStation 4 and Xbox One console. But overall, I think that Nintendo Switch, whether it has that 60 million or not, will have a good year overall. My next art prediction is that the Nintendo Switch will outsell the Nintendo Wii. Now, I'm sure you all heard a report that I believe from GameStop that they think that the Nintendo Switch has the potential to outsell the Nintendo Wii, which in lifetime sales, that's 101 million units sold, so the Nintendo Switch has a lot of catching up to do. Uh, many people are skeptical or thinking that's, you know, nearly impossible. And, you know, I'm always quite skeptical myself. I say the Nintendo Switch would do well, but there's no way it would ever catch up to Nintendo Wii. But, you know, after giving it some thought, I actually think there's a like a 90% chance that that would actually happen. Now think about this, uh, with the Nintendo Switch being not only a home console, but a handheld device, that I think there's a possibility that people will own at least two or more Nintendo Switch consoles, especially with different bundles, maybe some upgrades, you know, similar to the um, 3DS with the um, new 3DS. And, you know, as I mentioned before, um, the handheld aspect, it tends to sell more, especially in Japan. And the ability to take a, you know, home console experience, you know, all around you. Uh, handheld just t uh, seems to uh, sell more. So let's look at the Nintendo DS, which showed about 120 million units. Though, if you want to compare it to the uh, Nintendo 3DS, which sold... A little over 60 million, which, you know, not bad, but nowhere near the Nintendo Wii. Uh, 
there's at least a reason why Nintendo Switch will probably not make it that high. But the one thing I think could help, well, I won't say guarantee to make it over 100 million units, but it would definitely boost it in the right direction of making that go if they release a Pokemon main game. Now, for those who don't know that a Pokemon main series game has never been released on home console, they usually get spin off like Pokemon Stadium, uh, Pokemon Tournament, and all those games are very nice, but a Pokemon main game sells, you know, extraordinarily well. It was make it to the top 10 years, like, throughout the whole year. That's how popular Pokemon is, and having that on a home console will definitely boost that sell way up high. To 100 million, I don't know, but I do think there is a strong possibility that it would happen. My last odd prediction is that the Xbox Scorpio will be delayed until March of 2018. Now we all know that the Nintendo Switch uh, released their console, you know, not too long ago in March 3rd, 2017. And people thought that Nintendo was crazy for not releasing it in the holidays because, you know, releasing your newest console uh, around the holiday season is a safer way to guarantee great sales. So it will please the third party of making more, more games on your current console. And I could see Microsoft uh, thinking about the possibility of doing that, especially if they feel that there's too much competition this year from Nintendo and Sony. With that being said, I think there's only a 10% chance of that happening. I heard from another YouTuber that Microsoft is kind of limiting production of the Scorpio, which I know sounds kind of strange. I, you think that uh, they want to sell as many units as possible and, you know, push a lot of people to buy a more powerful console than the original Xbox One. But uh, kind of think of it, it does make sense, mainly because not a lot of people own 4K televisions. And they do seem pretty determined to keep it at that harder lineup. Plus, they probably don't want to upset a lot of third party who are probably making some exclusive game for the Scorpio. And, you know, delaying it will most likely not please them, especially if they're banking on the holiday sales. So, uh, Microsoft is definitely uh, keeping the Scorpio around the holiday season. Well, that's it for my odd predictions. I'll try to come out with a better format next time, but I hope this at least entertain you enough. I am going to do some more E3 predictions later on this month or maybe in early June, uh, mainly focusing on third parties and some first party here and there. So stay tuned for that. This is me, Bobby33, and I'll catch you guys later.